Hi, this is Kathy McBreen, President of Millionaire Corner. Did you know that households with $25 million of net worth or more tend to have a more aggressive risk tolerance than the rest of us? In fact, just over 20% of the 25 million plus households describe themselves as moderate in risk tolerance, but 36%, more than a third, indicate that they're aggressive or very aggressive. That compares to 20% of mass affluent households who consider themselves as aggressive or very aggressive. 49% of the mass affluent are moderate, and 31% identify themselves as conservative. In contrast, only 11% of the 25 million plus describe themselves as conservative. Should you be aggressive in your risk tolerance? That's a question only you and your financial advisor can answer. The wealthiest households have the ability to lose a greater portion of their assets and to still be okay, unlike the rest of us. That being said, you should still discuss this issue with your financial advisor. In many cases, individuals tend to be a little more conservative than they need to be. Ask your advisor the impact of making your portfolio slightly more aggressive, but you need to know whether you're comfortable with possibly losing a greater portion of your nest egg. Additionally, you should constantly reassess your risk tolerance in relationship to your age, your job stability, and other, fa other factors that might be influencing your life. Most wealthy investors want to grow their wealth rather than preserve it. In many cases, they have the luxury of being able to take more risk. They often have higher expectations regarding return. 47% of wealthy investors expect a return of more than 9%. To be honest, that's relatively high. In order to achieve this, they have to invest more aggressively. So decide your own level of risk tolerance and make sure you're informed of the risks of any potential investments. Check out our best advisors to help you make these decisions. This is Kathy McBreen. Thanks for watching.